Hey everyone, Kane here and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one, we are going to talk about army capacity in terms of how you can raise all of these values for events in terms of like power prize fight or if you would want to just say um, build golden troops in the um, newer servers and stuff like that. So First things first, we have to go into the equipment. As you can see, I have a lot of heroes built in terms of just providing a ton of command. But it is not my main build. My main build looks entirely different. And of course, it also has prisms and stuff like that. So it's a lot easier to have a different set and equip all command items or highest command items as you possibly can do just one click swap and you increase a ton of command and then you just power boost your capacities to the next level and that of course will always raise your gold value which is important because in the newer servers and stuff like that you can't really pull off a very high gold capacity still will require gold in the front line and after gold in the front line you kind of require about 200 to 300 range army golden range army for events so pretty much about like 500 ish golden capacities like a requirement to even play the game properly more or less so first things first we are going to touch reliquary probably one of the easier ones to do so we require stele and there are two command increases in terms of the third page in this one we have to select increases hero command and stamina for every hero that you have you're gonna get 10 command i think there's like 40 50 heroes so you're gonna get like 400 500 command or so and then of course page two similar thing we select command and we get six per hero there's like Again, 40 or 50 heroes, so that's like 250 or 300 additional command. Which, again, it's pretty easy. Just a couple of buttons. You also can have any set that you want. So you can just one-click swap whenever you would want it. Just don't forget to swap back if you are playing that particular race. So aside from that, uh, I do believe, I mean, a dragon raises it a little bit, but that is, is not really something you should focus too much uh, unless you really want to, you know, um, redo your dragon un until you get like 10, 10 X's or, or whatever. Um, aside from that, there are a couple of things in terms of heroes. So hero mastery in terms of the uh, particular command bracket has the command stats but majority of us already have them maxed and raised aside from that we have potential so um i realized it after i actually built my army and made it into undead my mistake so uh we have potential right here and i didn't know that i had like 20 of the awaken stones and some of the heroes already had the insights, which pretty much just adds me like 50 command per one hero. Meaning if I uh, just checked it prior to, you know, um, converting troops into undead, I could have actually had more power in the event than I would right now. Maybe I won't need it because I'm going to cross 40 million but who knows some people might contest me so what you can do is if you have additional stones all you do is you go here click awaken spend one of these and you can swap it i do believe when you reset a hero you get all of them back so eventually you can just get them back regardless of what you do with them so you don't really need to worry about it too much so that is another way how to increase it aside from that equipment so pretty much any hero that can equip a weapon has to have flawless messianic scepter i do believe it's on void 81 so many people can actually reach that even pretty early pretty much 
a command or one command adds one bronze capacity. However, this scepter also adds plus 30. So essentially, you're viewing at 47 command worth of bronze capacity just from one weapon. And if you equip both of them, that's about like, what, 94-ish? Something like that. So that's pretty much just 100 bronze capacity from two weapons that you are equipping on a hero. And if you equip them on, of course, a lot of your um, heroes who can use weapons, that is a lot of command, a lot of capacity. Aside from that, the helmets, I have not found anything better than the demonic face mask. I think I found 16, 17 command, but I really did not find anything better than that. I mean, there probably can be something. Um, I can actually miss things as well. You know, I'm also human, but I really did not find anything better. Aside from that, uh, I use the trinkets in terms of flawless thunder drums. I think they're somewhere 80 plus void, 100 plus void, somewhere along those lines. It's not very, very far, I think. Now I kind of forgot really, so I don't know. Basically, it gives 19 command. Now, there are better things uh, than this in particular that can give command. And it also depends um, on events. If you're winning them, like for example, these ones, they can actually give 25 on the flawless, though I don't really have that many of them. So that is another thing. And I think there is one more trinket, but I could not really find it. Aside from that, on the mages and the others. So um, I use this tab, the Galactic Scepter gives 18 command, which is pretty good. I was not able to find anything better unless it was a specific scepter that uh, my Gazul has moment which is this one 23 command but that is like the only scepter that I have you get this one in void and I think there was one event ever that actually gave it and that's pretty much it like there is no other way where you can actually get it and that's you know pretty rough like really rough and wait what I think God damn it. I didn't equip this on Gazel. God damn it. Well, yeah, that's, but that's pretty much it. Like you can see, it becomes pretty similar across many heroes. Now, this one, I did not really figure out myself. There was um, a person in the Moontree group chat that I have. I do believe his name was Wing. Did tell me that I can actually put this on Gazul to increase command. And I didn't really know it, so I was using his other, you know, cloak, which gave magic, which I didn't really need to. But this, this was a great find, and kudos to that guy for letting me know. This is pretty awesome, especially for these events as well. So this probably added me, like, maybe 400, 500 command, and maybe more across multiple heroes pretty huge power difference in an event because that 400 capacity across you know bronze then it turns to a little bit less uh, silver value and then a little bit less gold value but still all of those troops could likely make up maybe close to 1 million power somewhere there maybe 500 to 1 million somewhere there but still makes a difference Aside from that, like, yeah, pretty much majority of the heroes go like that. Generals, you can use their um, old equipment for that. As you can see, I still use their own equipment, but it just goes pretty much the exact same across multiple heroes, depending on what you have and what you can use. So there are those who can use tomes. Did not really figure out any other tome than this who can really grant more than 12, I think. I crafted quite a few. I tried a couple of them, and the highest one that I found was 12. So I just crafted a bunch of them, and I equipped them. And that's, again, pretty much it. 
there is really not much else to talk about or for example rogues also you can use the um basic bow from royal archive as well as like ninth command you can flawless them and again, pretty much exactly the same across multiple heroes. So you will require a ton of transmute crystals if you want to do everything flawless. However, if you're newer in the realm, you don't have a lot of people to attack, a lot of honor to obtain. You don't really require to make everything flawless. Flawless is like just a couple more command stats than, uh, you know, not having flawless. So this is just, you know, a couple of numbers to make a little bit bigger. But if you lack the transmute stones, just go for divine. There is really not that much issue. You're probably, if you get a full set of divines instead of flawless, you probably will have a thousand command less. So if I have like 14,000 or so, Eventually, if you reach the same state in the game I'm at, you would have like 13, which is still a huge amount. Like, not gonna lie, that's still a huge amount. But, I mean, it's not a requirement to get everything flawless. It's just additional few command stats here and there. Pretty much majority of the army capacity is down to Reliquary Stele, is down to Hero Mastery, is down to uh, Potential as well as the equipment if you narrow all of these down you're gonna raise your army capacity pretty friggin high now probably i missed maybe one feature or so kind of you know do let me know in the comments down below and if i did i will of course pin it in the comments so people could actually see it but anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. If you did, do hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Plus, if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos, I have made a Patreon page where you would be able to do just that. In return, I would be able to help you out more individually in terms of events, PvP formations, and stuff like that. As well as I would like to thank all of my patrons for the support. Really, really appreciate it for your subscriptions. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe out there.